Hello and welcome to Servant Tech's online tutorials. My name is Kristen and today we're going to take a look at how to embed a video on our web pages. So there's a couple different ways that we are going to do this. Um, one is to embed a video using YouTube and the second is to embed a video using Vimeo. So depending on um, which site you're using to upload your video, you can embed them in your articles easily using either one. So let's first take a look at how to embed a video using YouTube. If we take a look at the Servantech site as an example, if we click on services and scroll down to tutorials, this is where we've stored our video library per se of tutorial videos. So if you look on the left hand side, you'll see links to each of our videos. And then over on the right, you'll see kind of like snippets from each article that has a video stored in it. And by clicking on the watch the video link, will be taken to that article where the video is stored. And we've done this um, simply by using a category blog layout where all of the articles stored in a particular category um, are listed in two columns. And let's just go back to the tutorials page. They're listed in two columns and we see the intro text of each article with the watch the video is actually a read more link. So let's go to YouTube and choose a video that we want to upload. So once we have our video on the page, um, we're going to look for the share link just below the video. You'll see a button. It's right beside the button with a flag on it. It says share. And if we click on this, we'll kind of expand this window and we'll see um, that we have the option of using a link to share the video with someone. We could share it in an email with the link. Um, we can also share using Facebook. We can post it to our as our status. We can tweet the video. But what we're going to do today is embed the video. So if we click on the embed button, you'll notice that this code pops up below as the window expands. Um, and we do have the option of making adjustments, which will then adjust the code that we're going to embed. So um, we can choose to show selected um, suggested videos when the video finishes. We can choose to have the option of playing the video in high definition from our website. So depending on which of these options you want to choose, you can go ahead and check them off and it would then change your code above. But for now, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to deselect these and you'll notice as you check and deselect these boxes, again, your code is going to change slightly. You can also specify the width or the height if there's a specific width that you need for the space that you have allotted. For instance, um, on our Servant Tech tutorial videos, the space that we had allotted was 630 pixels wide. So you can go ahead and type that width um, as a custom width and it automatically generates the height based on the width so that you keep the correct proportions for your video so you don't distort anything. And if you look at the code now, you'll notice that um, in, inside of this code, we have the width set to 630 pixels and the height set to 338, um, 388, which was automatically generated below. So really, the only thing left to do is to, um, if we control click this on a Mac, uh, we can copy it. And then we will go to our article manager. And in our article manager, um, the critical step here is to choose the HTML text editor. Um, now before you do this, you may want to insert some text. Um, this is a test video. And we may want this to be the intro text. So we may want a read more break. So if we click the read more button below, um, maybe this is just the snippet that we want to appear on a page similar to the one I showed you with the Servant Tech tutorial videos. Um, and we just want that to appear until someone clicks the link. Now the link, instead of it saying read more, if you wanted it to say watch the video like we did on the sample site, you can go over here to the parameters advanced. And if you scroll down under parameters advanced over on the right hand side, you'll see that there is an alternative read more text where you can um, type in what you want the text to be instead of it saying read more. So we may want this text to be watch the video, which because we've used that before, it auto-populated it. 
and the next step is to our add our video. So if we put the cursor directly below the read more break, we can click on, this is the critical point that I talked about earlier, is clicking the HTML source button. So in your text editor, um, your text editor may look a little different if you have more tools up here, but either way you should see a button that says either HTML or it has um, a little a red carrot mark. Um, if you click on the HTML button, a window will appear, and this is where we embed our source code that we took from the YouTube site. So you'll see um, that what we've put into our text editor also appears here um, using HTML. So if we go to the next line and insert our video by pasting, um, you'll see this is, this is the code that we took directly from the YouTube site and we can update and if our settings are set properly we actually won't see the the video itself in our text editor you may see a black box um, but this will this is where our video is embedded so if we were to go to the front end we would then see the video so let's close out of this uh, I'm just going to cancel this and we'll take a look at how we would embed a video using Vimeo. So if we scroll over to the Vimeo page, we'll see we have a sample video that we used for the Ocean State Baptist Church website. And actually, if we take a look at the site itself, the homepage of Ocean State Baptist Church, um, we do have a link that says watch the video. And if we click on the watch the video link, we'll be taken to a page where we embedded the Vimeo video. So what we want to do is create an article where the video appears at the top and then we have the um, pastor's note below. So if we go to the Vimeo page, you'll notice on the video itself there's a link over on the right hand side. It's the last button that says embed. If we click on this button, we'll get another window where um, again, just like in YouTube, it auto-generates the code, but we can also make some adjustments to it. And if we wanted to make adjustments to it, we could click on this Customize Embed Options link. And again, the window expands when we do that. And here we can set the size, just like we did in YouTube. Um, for instance, if this were only going to be 630 pixels, it would automatically, you'll notice if you click on the height after you choose the width, it'll automatically generate a height so that your video appears in the correct proportions. You can also choose a color on Vimeo um, if you want the, the highlights to be blue or orange. Um, you'll, you'll notice it changes in the preview and your code changes as you make these adjustments. You can also um, decide what you want the intro to look like. Uh, whether you want the video to autoplay when the page loads, um, if you want it to loop. Uh, there are different options down here below. And as you check them, just like in YouTube, you'll notice that the code changes. Well, once you have the settings exactly as you want them, you can go ahead and select this. And again, just like in YouTube, we're just going to copy. and we'll paste this into our article. So when we navigate to our article manager, again, the critical point is going to be, let's create a new article first, the critical point is going to be selecting that HTML button as we mentioned before. So if you wanted to go ahead and type any intro text, or actually for this particular example, we just wanted the video to appear at the top. So if we put our cursor into the text editor, click on the HTML button and we get the HTML source editor. This is where we will paste our code and click update and upon saving we will see this video on our front end. So anyway, if you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us at Servantech and we'll look forward to talking with you soon.